Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Imaginary Engineering. Today in this video, we will build web application using Out System. If you don't know about Out System, is let me give you a brief introduction about it. Out System is low code development platform that allows you to build a web and mobile application with a visual design and minimal coding. You just need to drag and drop the things, it will automatically generate a HTML and CSS code for you. So let's start. I have noticed that beginners often find it difficult to understand how to use APIs in our system. So today in this video, I will show you how we can use the APIs in our system and perform all the code operations. First, let me show you the app and then we start. We can see the form here. Let's provide this details name, blood group, age. And when we click on this save button, data will save in database. On the right hand side, we can see that data is displayed in a table format. Let's click on save. Data added successfully. We got the message. Let me refresh once. Here we can see data is added here. If I click on this pencil icon, from here we can update the data also. Let's change the name, blood group and age and click on the save button. Here we got the message updated successfully. And here we can see data has been updated successfully. If I click on the delete icon then it deleted that particular data. Let's go back to our system to create an application. Click on this new application. And I'm going to build it from scratch. Here you can have the multiple options. Let's select this reactive web app since we are developing the web application. Here we can give the our application name. Let's say employer app. You can also upload the icon by clicking on this upload icon button. I'm not choosing any icon let's keep it as it is and click on the create now our application is ready let's add a module click on this add module button and give the module name and select the module type I'm choosing the reactive web app and click on the create module now first uh, we need to add a screen here so there is a two way right click on this main flow you can see the option for add screen add block just select that or second way is that on the left hand side you can see the screen menu you just drag and drop here you can see the multiple options i would like to go with the empty screen now need to add a container so just drag and drop inside this canvas now uh, here i mostly use the widget tree for styling let's name it that container main container now i want a two more container inside this main container so drag and drop inside this main container now we have the two container but we want this two container in one row so let's set the width for that for first container we set the width six column and second container i have set the width uh, six column yeah now add some space between these two container so simply we can choose the style from drop down let's choose padding right base now you can see there is a space between these two container now in first container let's add a form so drag and drop the form in first container here you can see the form is added in first container now let's consume the rest api and go to the logic tab inside this we have the folder integration right click on the rest we can see the two option expose rest api and consume rest api click on the consume rest api here we can see the two option add a single method or add multiple method i will go with the add a single method click on this here you can see 
you can provide the url here for your get action in the postman i copy this url and paste it here here we can see the some option body authentication and test inside the body tab we can provide the response uh, for if our url need authentication you can provide the request header and response header and you can also test your url if i click on the test it will generate the response here it gives the 200 status that means okay now if i click on this copy it will return the response in json format now click on the finish we will get the action get employee which is basically written the response if we expand this here you can see the response which we get from the api now go back to our interface in home screen we create one variable to store that response we get from api choose the data type get employer now just drag and drop this item inside this form that input field will automatically create it if you see here inside this form we have the container label input field now first for the id we don't need it so i have deleted now let's change the uh, create another variable for name then we have the age and blood group so let's create a variable for that let's create a one more variable for employee id change the name let's say employee id give the data type uh, text now uh, change the data type for the age name and blood group here we rename the label first field is for name choose the name variable from the drop down now for the second field for age for input box choose the age as a variable then third one is blood group and set the variable as a blood group now we have the save button here here we are getting one error because uh, here we don't have provided any on click event yet there is a two way you can create action just right click and select add client action and another way is that double click on the button it will auto create the action for you so here i double click on this save button it will create the action now let's go back to our container now in second container we add one table let's go to the widget tree and drag and drop the table in second container set the source attribute here response dot item now here drag and drop this item in table it will auto populated our columns here you can see now we don't need that sort attribute so i just make it none If I expand this table, you can see header row and row. The first row is for employee ID, second row is for blood group, third row is for age and fourth row is for name. We want that for name should be a second column. So let's rearrange that. Now rename this column name. First column is employee id second column is name third column is age 
sorry that group and fourth column will be our age now next we want this our uh, table item will be loaded when first time our page is load so inside this screen we have the methods like uh, on initialize on ready so uh, go to our home component home screen and select the event on initialize so our table will get loaded when our screen is initialized drag and drop this get employees action which return one response to save this response in response variable we drag and drop this set variable set the value for this response variable as a get employees dot response now we are ready uh, click on this uh, publish icon it will take some time to upload it if i show you on postman if i click on this send here we get the response something like this blood group age name employee id here you can see now let's go back to our id yeah it's published now click on open in browser it's loading first time we are login so enter your username and password here you can see all the tables items are loaded here now next we want when we enter the name age blood group and click on save all the data will be reflected in item so let's go back to our id click on this button it will redirect us to the action save on click let's create a api post api so right click consume rest api select the add single method click on continue we need the post url so here i copy this url and paste it here select the action post for post we copy this body and paste it inside the request header our url not require any authentication in test we can test our url click on the test here we get the response 200 means okay now click on finish our post employee action is created which required one request variable so create one variable request set the type as a post employee request now we set the value for name age and blood group so assign the value to request age request name as a name variable then request age as age and for the request blood group set as a blood group now we set the value for this request now let's drag and drop that post employee action which require one request variable so select the our variable request let's add some message 
डेटा सेव सक्सेसफुली सिलेक्ट द टाइप सक्सेस नाउ क्लिक ऑन पब्लिश इट विल टेक सम टाइम नाउ हियर एंटर सम डमी वैल्यू नेम एज अ मारिया एंटर द एज ट्वेल्व ब्लड ग्रुप ब्लड से ए पॉजिटिव क्लिक ऑन दिस सेव we got the message data save successfully here we can see maria is added successfully blood group is a positive age is 12 now second thing we want that uh, add the delete and edit option after the age so user can edit and delete item let's go back to our id go to a home screen here after the age add one more column for delete and edit icon search the icon drag and drop this icon search for the edit icon select this and then add a one more icon for delete select this trash icon and click on the select add some styling for them color will be sky blue add some font size it will be 20 pixel copy this and same for the delete icon color will be red now we want some space between them so add some margin right choose the select style from the drop down then choose the margin right base here the space is added now we want when we click on this pencil icon pop up will be open so search for pop up and drag and drop this pop up i am going to drag and drop this pop up inside the footer you can see that two radio button here let's drag and drop the form inside the pop up then go to the elements select create one variable pop up let's choose the data type as a boolean default value is a false this pop up required the one attribute show pop up set the value as a pop up variable initially it's false now drag and drop that item into the form here you can see the input field will be auto populated we have the four input field for employee id blood group age and name if i go to the widget tree and expand this form you can see here is for five container let's rename the label employee id set the variable employee id then second for name set the variable as a name then third for age select the age variable from drop down then last one blood group then select the blood group variable from the drop down now in the last container we have the button if i double click on this button it will create a action for us here we have the action let's give some proper name let's say edit on click let's hide this click on the second radio button it will hide the pop up now when i click on this pencil icon that pop up will be open so create one action choose link to new client action it will create a new client action let's rename this action 
let's say link edit on click assign the variable so set the value of that pop-up variable to true so when user click on that pencil icon pop-up will be open also let's set the value for the rest of our name set to as a current selected name then age will be current selected age and last one is a blood group expand that blood group then set the value for employee id set the current selected value for that employee id now let's go back open the pop-up inside the footer we have the pop-up now here you can see the button let's rename that call it edit double click on this now we want when user click on that edit button the pop-up will be close so make that pop-up value to false let's click on publish wait for a few seconds now open in browser here if i click on this pencil icon the pop-up will be open and if i click on the edit button that pop-up will be close let's go back to our out system now we want the url for edit so copy this url click on consume rest api add a single method and paste it here choose the put option now it required the request header copy this body part and paste it here you can test it or directly click on finish button so it create the put employee action it required one request header now let's create variable edit request edit employee change the data type to put employee request now we want to set the value for this edit employee variable so choose the edit employee employee id set the value to employee id then same for age then we have the name and blood group set the value for all of these now drag and drop that put employee action it require one input variable from drop down select the edit employee now add one message here edit successfully choose the type success now click on publish button and wait for some time in browser if I click on this and make the blood group O positive click on edit here you can see data is edited now blood group is O positive let's go back to our ID now we want to add a delete functionality go back to our home screen 
when user click on that delete icon user will be able to delete so let's first create the action for that let's call it a uh, link delete on click here you can see the shortcut plus icon where you can add the set variable client action now for delete first we need to add api for that consume rest api add single method paste our url here choose the delete option it require the body copy this and paste it in request header now click on finish it create a delete action for us which require one request header now create a input variable for request so let's say delete employee and change the data type delete employee request now let set the variable for that delete request we have the employee id so set the value for that employee id to as current selected employee id drag and drop that delete employee and set the value for this request select the delete employee from drop down add one message after delete delete successful choose the type from drop down let's say success click on publish button let's open in browser if i want to delete this uh, employee maria click on this delete icon here we got a message deleted successfully let's see if it is deleted or not refresh once here you can see the maria has been deleted here we perform all the code operation edit delete add i hope you enjoy this video and learn something new so don't forget to like share and subscribe to imaginary engineering and thank you for watching